بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام آه عليكم آه راح نحكي بهاي المحاضرة عن الهباتيتس فيروسز زي ما بتعرفوا الهباتيتس هو الانفلاميشن اوف اوف ذا ليفر ان ان اذر ووردز ذا بريزنس اوف انفلاماتوري سيلز ان ذا ان ذا ليفر ذات انديكيت هباتيتس طبعا هباتيتس الكوزز فور فور هباتيتس ذي فاريد ذي انكلود فيروسز بكتيريا اند بروتوزوا as well as non-infectious causes like drugs and, 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 and toxins. Uh, for, for the scope of, of this uh, lecture, we will focus on the viruses that cause uh, hepatitis. Viruses, they are the major cause of infectious uh, liver diseases. Additional to hepatitis viruses, uh, will characterize viruses that can cause sporadic cases of hepatitis, such as the yellow fever virus, the cytomegalovirus, the Epstein-Barr virus, the herpes simplex virus, the rubella virus, and other enteroviruses. All of them, they can infect the liver, but as well as other sites in the body. Therefore, they are not exclusively hepatitis viruses like the one we will talk about in this uh, uh, lecture. Acute infections by, by these viruses, they cannot be distinguished from each other uh, clinically. I mean the hepatitis viruses. But uh, usually the liver enzyme uh, tests the, the, the serum enzyme increase, uh, AST, aspartate amino transferase, as well as the alanine amino transferase to allow the differentiation from other liver diseases. Usually the general rule that the ratio between ALT and over AST more than one usually indicate a cytoplasmic damage. In other words, viral hepatitis. Although the target organ for each of these viruses is the liver and the basic hepatitis symptoms, they are similar, they differ greatly in their structure, in their mode of replication, in their mode of transmission, and in the time course, as well as the sequelae of the disease they cause. Let us discuss them in more uh, uh, details. Uh, most cases of acute viral hepatitis in children as well as in adults, they are caused by one of the following five agents. A, hepatitis virus A, hepatitis virus B, hepatitis virus C, hepatitis virus D, as well as hepatitis virus E. Other viruses, like the one that we mentioned earlier, Epstein-Barr virus, cytomegalovirus, they can also cause inflammation of the liver. But hepatitis is not the primary disease that is caused by them. So let us talk in details about each of the uh, hepatitis viruses included in this lecture. Hepatitis A virus is the etiologic agent of viral hepatitis A, uh, previously known as infectious hepatitis. We have as well hepatitis B virus, which is associated with viral hepatitis B, uh, in other words, known as serum hepatitis. We have hepatitis C virus, is the agent for hepatitis C, is a common cause of post-transfusion hepatitis. Hepatitis D virus is a defective virus, a delta virus, uh, always dependent on the co-infection with hepatitis B virus. Uh, as well. And finally, we will talk briefly on hepatitis uh, E virus is the agent for the enterically transmitted hepatitis, the same uh, like hepatitis uh, A virus. Regardless of the virus type, identical histopathological lesions are observed in the liver during the acute disease. These viruses, they are not psychopathic, uh, it's an immunological uh, response uh, that lead to uh, those uh, uh, legions mainly. Um, let's talk about hepatitis A virus. Uh, hepatitis A virus is a distinct member of the uh, Picona family. Uh, uh, another name for it is Enterovirus 72. It's an uh, RNA uh, virus, uh, non-enveloped. Uh, it has only one serotype and there is uh, seven genotypes that are known for hepatitis A virus. It replicates in the liver, it's excreted in the bile, and then excreted in the feces of infected persons for about two weeks before the onset of clinical in, uh, illness and up to one week uh, post uh, symptoms uh, in those affected patients. Estimated to be the causative agent of uh, more than 40 to 50% of acute hepatitis uh, cases. So 
the most common uh, viral hepatitis uh, virus. Hepatitis A virus is spread mainly by the fecal oral route. Uh, so there is always outbreaks that uh, associated with uh, contaminated food as well as uh, water. And humans appear to be the major natural hosts uh, of hepatitis A virus. Uh, the major mode of spread, as we said before, it's an enteric uh, enterically transmitted virus, so fecal oral uh, route, and hepatitis A virus particles, they can be demonstrated in the feces by uh, electron microscope, and be aware that is no chronic infection with the uh, hepatitis A virus, as well as with the hepatitis E uh, virus. Uh, it's initially uh, only IgM uh, antibody response, then followed by IgG antibody uh, response, and that uh, usually give you a lifelong immunity post infection with hepatitis A virus. So there is no chronic infection, no carrier uh, state with hepatitis A uh, uh, virus. <clears throat> um, in this in this uh, slide, we could see the uh, uh, global epidemiology of, of hepatitis A. As we said before, hepatitis A is the most common type of viral hepatitis that occur worldwide. Uh, most often, uh, as we said, in outbreaks or, or epidemics. Uh, the disease is commonly seen in, in children mainly, as well as in young adults. 90% of infected children and up to 25 to 50% of infected adults, they have inapparent but productive uh, uh, infections with hepatitis A virus. And the spread of infection is mainly by the fecal or a root and arise from the ingestion of contaminated food and water. So uh, overcrowding and poor sanitation, they facilitate the, uh, the, the, the spread. Uh, hepatitis A virus, as we said, it causes uh, infectious hepatitis, an acute disease that clinically uh, milder or asymptomatic in young children, and there is no carrier or chronic state, as we said, with hepatitis A virus. More than 90% of adult population in many developing countries, they show evidence of previous hepatitis A infection and travelers from developed countries who enter those endemic areas, they are particularly uh, susceptible. Patients, they are more contagious and they are mostly contagious uh, two weeks prior the onset of the clinical disease uh, uh, characterized by uh, uh, jaundice mainly. Um, as well as we could see the, the high uh, prevalence of uh, uh, anti-hepatitis A uh, 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 antibodies, uh, usually in the, in the uh, uh, red uh, color. As you could see, Jordan is considered high in the prevalence of uh, hepatitis A virus infection, as well as in the uh, antibodies against uh, hepatitis A virus. Mm. Uh, clinically, the infectious dose for hepatitis A virus is less than 100 particles. They are enough to establish infection and the contagiousness as well as the communicability, usually two weeks before the onset of clinical symptoms that is usually characterized by the onset of of jaundice. So jaundice usually is observed in almost 70 to 80 percent of, of adults, uh, but in only maybe uh, uh, 10 percent of, of children, especially children less than six years of, of age. So uh, the most common uh, uh, presentation of, of uh, hepatitis A virus infection is uh, asymptomatic, and that's the case with most children. And usually it is symptomatic, and that's the case with most uh, adults and usually uh, uh, include uh, uh, two phases, the pre-ecteric phase where there is an abrupt flu-like illness associated with nausea, vomiting, as well as uh, anorexia. And we have as well the ecteric phase that is characterized by uh, jaundice, uh, abdominal pain, uh, hepatosplenomegaly, as well as uh, uh, pale stool and uh, dark color urine. Uh, sometimes a sudden onset of fever, as we said, anorexia, pain, uh, especially in the right uh, upper uh, quadrant and the abdomen uh, within, uh, within several uh, days. That's the classical history of uh, hepatitis A virus infection uh, uh, in uh, symptomatic uh, patients. 
uh, as we said, associated with dark urine and, and a, a clay colored uh, uh, stool. Um, especially maybe noticed in patients one to five days before the onset of, of uh, uh, clinical jaundice. The liver is enlarged and tender and the recovery occurs in days to weeks usually. Almost all cases, 99% of hepatitis A virus, they are self-limiting. So there is no chronic hepatitis, no carrier state with hepatitis A virus uh, uh, infection. Uh, uh, however, uh, 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 some uh, patient, they might uh, suffer from fulminant hepatitis and that's a count uh, of less than 1% of infected persons with hepatitis A uh, 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 viruses. Uh, many persons who have serological evidence of acute hepatitis A infection, they are asymptomatic, as we said, or they are only mildly ill without uh, jaundice. And as we said, uh, to emphasize more, unlike hepatitis B virus, hepatitis A virus, they cannot initiate chronic infection and they are not associated with uh, hepatic uh, cancer. Uh, as we said, the 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 one person that might suffer from uh, fulminant uh, liver disease with hepatitis A virus infection, they account less than one percent uh, uh, of the affected uh, people, and uh, the mortality rate usually range from 0.1 to 0.2 percent uh, uh, for those who suffer from fulminant uh, uh, liver disease caused by hepatitis A virus uh, infection. Um, as we said, how we diagnose uh, hepatitis A, uh, the clinical picture we, we mentioned uh, be, before could help the history as well as the physical, ends, uh, the physical uh, examination. Uh, uh, once you look for the uh, liver biochemistry, usually there is uh, an elevated uh, liver function enzymes, especially the uh, ALT as well as uh, the AST. Uh, uh, usually those, they precede the, uh, the uh, jaundice, the ecteric stage, uh, where uh, as well uh, could be the serum bilirubin uh, levels uh, uh, high. Uh, the hematological test, there is leukopenia usually with relative uh, lymphocytosis in the affected patient, and the ESR, uh, the erythrocyte sedimentation rate usually is uh, raised. The viral markers, the, the serology for uh, hepatitis A virus that can be relied upon, usually an anti-hepatitis A virus, IgM, means an acute infection. It remains usually high uh, for up to three to six uh, months, followed by IgG antibodies to hepatitis A virus that become the predominant afterward and common in the general population over the age uh, of 50 uh, years. Uh, sometimes if you have an immune electro, uh, electron microscope, you could identify the virus particles in the fecal uh, specimen uh, and the isolation of the virus in cell cultures uh, remain uh, a research uh, tool. Um, in this slide, we show the, the typical serology course of infected persons with hepatitis A virus. As we said, hepatitis A virus initially can be identified uh, in the in the in the stool, and as mentioned earlier, a raised uh, liver function test (ALT) as well as AST is noted earlier in the hepatitis A virus infected persons, followed by the anti-hepatitis A virus IgM that start rising usually one month post exposure and peaks on the third month post exposure before being replaced by the uh, IgG antibodies to hepatitis A virus. Uh, previous, infection, previous infection as well as uh, vaccine, they can give both uh, lifelong immunity to hepatitis A uh, virus. Um, regarding the uh, treatment for hepatitis A virus infection, there is no specific treatment for patients uh, with acute hepatitis A, uh, and uh, supportive uh, measures include adequate nutrition and bed rest. <clears throat> Avoidance of exposure to contaminated food and water, they are important measures to reduce the risk of hepatitis A 
uh, infection. Uh, there is two terms you should be uh, familiar with with hepatitis A virus uh, uh, treatment is the passive immunization and the active immunization. The passive immunization is prophylaxis with the immune serum globulin given usually before or early in the incubation period. In other words, usually less than two weeks post exposure, and usually it is uh, 80 to 90 percent effective in preventing uh, clinical illness from hepatitis A virus infection. Passive immunization with the immune serum uh, globulins is protective if given before or during the incubation period of the disease. Uh, on the other hand, the active immunization, there is a vaccine against hepatitis A virus uh, with the uh, formalin killed vaccine uh, that usually induce uh, antibody titers similar to those uh, infected with the uh, wild virus type, and uh, usually they are 100% uh, protected. Uh, for preventive measure, the spread of hepatitis A virus is reduced by interrupting the fecal-oral uh, root of the spread uh, for the virus. This is usually accomplished by avoiding potentially contaminated water or food, especially uh, undercooked uh, shellfish and proper hand washing, especially in daycare centers. We talked about outbreaks of hepatitis A virus as well as uh, mental hospitals and other care uh, facilities. It is vitally important uh, that chlorine treatment in drinking water is generally sufficient uh, to kill the virus. Um, let us talk about hepatitis E virus because it is similar to uh, hepatitis uh, A virus. Uh, uh, it is uh, the cause of another form of hepatitis that is spread by uh, the fecal oral route and therefore resemble hepatitis A. So hepatitis E virus is an RNA virus that is similar but distinct from uh, Khaleesi virus. The viral particles in the stool, they are spherical usually with 30 uh, nanometer in size and they are unenveloped and they exhibit spike on their surface. Like hepatitis A, infection with this virus is frequently subclinical. When symptomatic, it causes only acute disease that may fulminate, especially usually the high-risk group with hepatitis E uh, uh, virus infection. They are pregnant women as well as malnourished people. In endemic as well as developing uh, areas, it has the highest attack rate in young adults, and infection is usually associated with contaminated drinking water. It does not appear to spread from person to person, and most cases have been identified in developing countries with poor sanitation and recurrent uh, epidemics have been described in these areas. The incubation period for uh, hepatitis E virus is approximately 40 days, and the diagnosis may be confirmed by demonstrating the presence of specific IgM antibody. No treatment is available for hepatitis E virus uh, uh, infection. And the incubation period, as we said, usually uh, uh, range from two to uh, uh, eight weeks and mostly subclinical, especially in children. Acute hepatitis is, E is clinically similar to hepatitis A virus infection, except usually the bilirubin levels, they are higher, as well as the jaundice is usually deeper and more uh, prolonged. The normal case fatality rate is one to 2%, but usually uh, become higher uh, and reach up to 10 to 20% in the high risk group, as we said, the pregnant women and the uh, malnourished uh, people. There is no chronic uh, stage or chronic carriers with hepatitis A virus, like hepatitis A virus, and the diagnosis usually by excluding other types as well as uh, a molecular uh, real-time uh, PCR can be uh, uh, beneficial in diagnosing hepatitis A viruses. The treatment is supportive like hepatitis A virus infection acute cases. 